Before we start this video at large, thank you to Jason, Joel, Richard, Riley, and I I'm I can't even try to pronounce that. I'm I'm so sorry, but thank you. I'm I'm gonna call you friend. Thank you, friend, for your support. Hello guys, in this episode we're gonna add some icons to our UI that will display our weapons icons in our left and right hands. So I'm just here on the player UI in 2D view, and uh, I'm just gonna add an image down here. I'm gonna scale that to say, oh, we're gonna do like 70 by 100 for now. Gonna make it black real quick, match the UI of our health bar. And then I'm going to right click on this. Actually, I'm gonna rename it first. Let's call this quick slot. I'm gonna duplicate this. We'll call this one spell slot. I'm gonna duplicate this again. Bring it to the left side here. We're gonna call this one right hand slot. And then we're gonna duplicate this one last time. Bring it over here. I'm gonna call this one left hand slot. Alrighty, I'm just going to resize those, make those a little bit smaller because it is kind of big compared to the health bar. I just want all the UI to look the same. 50 by 80 should be fine. Going to bring these in closer here, both left and right side. And if we drop in game, it looks pretty good. That's a great size. Okay, I am content with that. Alright, let's go to the right and left hand slots. But first, we're going to go and create an empty game object. We're going to call this quick slots and then we're going to drag all of our quick slots in there. Now I'm just going to save the player UI as a prefab. And now under the right hand slot, I'm going to add an image. I'm going to go to the image over here and I'm going to hold alt and click this bottom right and it's going to make the image the same size as the transform of its parent. I'm going to call this image icon and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the left hand slot. Holding alt, I'm going to hit this so it's the same size as its parent's transform. I'm going to call this one icon as well. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to just disable the game object icon on both of these for now. Next, I'm going to go on Quick Slots. We're going to create a new script. We're going to call it Quick Slots UI. And if Visual Studio loads, we'll double click that and open it up. Okay, so as is tradition, let's put our namespace down. Mine is SG for Sebastian Grapes. Now let's remove the start and update method as we will not need them. Let's start off by making some images. So public image. Actually, before we do that, we have to make a namespace. So add unityengine.ui to the top as I just did. And we're going to create two images, left weapon icon and right weapon icon. Again, it is very important that at the top you say using unityengine.ui or this will not work. So this will be the images for our left and right weapon icons respectfully. Next, let's make a method. We're going to call it update weapon quick slots UI. And then we're going to have a bool. And the bool is going to be for is left, meaning is this for the left weapon or the right? And then we're actually also going to pass the weapon as well. So we're going to go back up to the uh, function and I'm just going to pass a weapon item and call it weapon. Okay, so we're going to want to know if it's the right hand or left handed weapon. So we're going to say if is left equals false, then we're going to know it's the right hand weapon. So by that nature, we will say right weapon icon dot sprite is equal to weapon dot item icon. And it's just as simple as that. Again, make sure you say dot sprite. Else, it is the left-handed weapon and not the right-handed weapon. We were going to say left weapon icon dot sprite is equal to weapon dot item icon. 
Very nice, neat, and clean. Okay, again, make sure you have it using UniEngine.ui or this will not work. So, let's save that. Let's drop into the game here for a sec and let's drag in our left and right icons under the Quick Slots UI. It's the right one there and there's the left one. Excellent, let's drop back into the script real quick. Now we're gonna to wanna to enable these. So we're gonna say, right weapon icon dot enabled is equal to true. So if you do change the weapon icon, the left and right weapon, we're gonna enable it. Um, let's do the same thing down here. And we're actually gonna drop back to the project and re-enable the game object. However, we're going to disable the image. So basically the game object will always be active, but the image on the game object will not be active unless it is activated. So let's go to the quick slots and minimize that. Now we'll hop back in a script here and we're gonna say if weapon dot item icon does not equal null. So this is a null check. So basically if the weapon does have an icon, we're going to do this. And this is gonna be, and if it does not have uh, an icon, we wanna make the sprite null and we wanna disable the image so you don't see a white box. So we're gonna say right weapon icon at sprite is equal to null, right weapon icon dot enabled is equal to false. Because for your unarmed weapon, obviously there is no image and we don't want that displaying just a white box. So we're gonna disable the box and make the icon null. We're gonna do the same for the left hand weapon down here. So if the item icon does not equal null, then do this. If not, then do as above. And that is very straightforward, very simple and very clean. Uh, this is gonna be very effective. We're gonna later implement this too for our spells and our quick slots. Uh, for now though, we're just gonna to touch on the left and right handle weapon as we're covering things to do with our weapon inventory currently. Okay, that looks wonderful. So pretty straightforward. If left is false, then it's your right handed weapon. Do all the right handed weapon stuff. Uh, and if it's not your uh, right handed weapon, it's your left handed weapon. Do all the left handed weapon stuff. Very straightforward. Let's minimize that and let's save it. Okay, now on the weapon slot manager, we're gonna add our quick slots UI in the script. Um, and we're gonna put that down in our wake. So I, I need to name that variable first. Good one, Sebastian. Okay, so we're gonna call it quick slots UI. And just under the animator here, we're gonna say quick slots UI is equal to find object of type, because there should only be one of these in your scene. And quick slots UI, excellent. Okay, let's minimize that. And now on load weapons on slots, we want to change the icon whenever we're loading a weapon. We're just going to go down here and right below load left weapon damage collider, we're going to say quick slots UI dot, what do I call it again? Here we go. Um, right, update weapon. That was load. We're going to say quick slots UI dot update weapon quick slots UI. And then we're going to uh, say this is left. So we're going to say true. And then we're going to say comma and we're going to pass our weapon item. And it's just as simple as that. We're gonna do the same thing down here for the right-handed, and we're gonna make the bull false because this will be our right-handed weapon. And we're again gonna pass the weapon item. And we are going to save that. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a little more neat. I'm gonna drag my script here into the scripts folder. Why did that pop up? I'm gonna go into art, I'm gonna right-click, and I'm going to make a new folder because we need to start making UI things. I'm gonna call this UI. And in here, I make another folder. I'm gonna call this icons. And I have made two lovely icons, as you guys can see, for my two weapons. I'm gonna drag these in here. Now, when you're making icons for your UI, you wanna highlight both of these images. And up here where it says texture type, you're gonna to wanna to select Sprite 2D and UI. Otherwise, they will not work. So click on that and then hit apply. Lovely, and as you can see now, they have no black background anymore. And I'm going to go to my weapon, the Butcher Sword, and drag the Butcher Sword icon to my item icon. And I'm going to go to my sword, and I'm going to drag the sword icon to my item icon. And now, this should work. Oh, but actually, before I start the game, I'm going to go to my player UI, and I'm going to make that uh, those quick slots a different color, because I think my icons are a little dark. I made them kind of too dark. I should have put a light on the uh, object I was make as I was making them. So I'm just going to taking down the transparency and maybe make it a bit more gray as opposed to black. Uh, 
It looks nice. What's the full? No, I'm liking the transparency a bit. Actually, we'll put it right there. That's fine for now. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Starting the game. Boom, we're in here and switching our weapons. There is the icon. Oh, it's a bit stretched right now. Uh, that's easy to fix. You can just click on the image and click uh, preserve aspect ratio, but that looks great. All right, guys. Wow, starting to look like a full game now. We got some UI displaying our weapons and our health. We'll get the stamina done shortly, and we're going to keep on uh, chugging through our inventory. I think we're going to start on further inventory implementation in the next video. So if you made it this far, please don't forget to drop a like because it really does sincerely help me. And if you're feeling super generous, check out my Patreon below. We just hit a Patreon goal recently, so thank you guys for that, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for stopping by. Bye!